Howdy y'all. Once again, this is Porty 1119 Pet Frame Hunters on a blustery November day here in southern New Mexico. Got to be swapping out the water pump on this uh, Kubota RTV 1140. So that's the water pump right here. Uh, the shaft seal on it appears to have gone out and it's been drinking, uh, you know, about a quart of water every half hour or so. And, like that very much so here's the, the new water pump we're gonna try uh, zipping these side access panels off so this is the air filter access the air filter cover and that's the battery cover and see if we can't remove the, uh, the seat and the firewall just to expose the whole front end of that water pump make this uh, an easier job all right, now we've got uh, the firewall pulled, which required uh, a lot more inventive language than it should have due to two micro drivers failing. So thanks a lot, Gear Wrench. Yeah, my. Uh, I like you, but I hate those. <laughs> so here's uh, the water pump. So we're gonna have to remove our uh, lower hose, both of our upper hoses. Pop the uh, the belt off. Pop the. Uh, shiv cover off that should be a pretty simple job with an impact yeah looks like fun let's get to it piece of cake just pulling the last of these bolts off This was uh, a rental return from uh, a Hearn Rentals. So it was probably bouncing around uh, mines and construction sites in uh, Mexico for its whole service life. that uh, there's some stuff on this machine that ain't great. Looking in here, I'm also going to have to be making some coolant hoses soon. That's not a uh, hose size that I stock up here yet, but that will probably have to change. I don't know if y'all can hear the wind. water pump installed. I swapped out that and brought it out in line for uh, a little bit of 3 8 fuel line. It's not great. Um, I put the radius on it. Hopefully it'll still flow adequately. Um, got the uh, shiv put back on. V-belt tension looks to be about a half inch. That's, that's okay. It's got a movable alternator to tension it. So, Let's uh, go ahead and fire it up, put the cap open, see what happens.
little bit overfilled, but I would prefer that to underfill. Go ahead and uh, put her back together. We did put a, a fair bit of glycol concentrate in there because uh, we are going to be getting freezes overnight. But uh, the rest of the air purged out of the system. But uh, that looks to be uh, decent. No leaks, so I will take it. Thanks for watching, folks. Adios.